Sara. Okay. okay. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. I like your landscape. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's beautiful, right? Beautiful oh, landscape. Thank you. Yes, it's very uh, El, El Pital. El Pital. Wow. Yeah, El Pital. The coldest place in our country. Okay. <laughs> Let me get uh, some materials. Okay. Because I'm running. Oops. I click on something that was not. So. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Let me get some some of the, the activities. Okay. Work on. Okay. I'm going to share the screen now. Okay. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Welcome on board. Okay. Let's see. Share. Okay. I would like you to look at this. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, today is Monday, the 19th, and this is uh, class number three. So we're going to be working on simple present statements, questions, short answers. Okay. So the agenda is number one, we're going to be doing simple present with irregular verbs, simple present, yes, no question, then conversation, I get up at noon, and what's your schedule like? All right, these are the things to work on. Okay, so the objectives to discuss daily activities and to discuss schedules. So uh, let's begin by thinking about the last time. Uh, what do you remember we studied in our last class? Something that comes to your mind. What topics did we study in, let's say on Thursday? We study about simple present. And the third person, we are S when we are talking about third person of simple present. Nuria, perfect, excellent, good job, very good, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? What else did we study that you remember? Mm -hmm. Stephanie, do you remember what we studied? Stephanie Melen? No. Okay. Rolando, do you remember what we studied? Uh, I remember. I see to my statement in the simple present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, right? We made sentences. We built sentences with different pieces. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, the ones who contributed. Now, let's, let's look at this picture. Okay, what do you think uh, we're going to be discussing? We are talking about fruits. Yeah, we're going to talk about fruit. That is one of the possibilities. Fruit, in general, what is it? In the, in the most general context, what is it? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll give you an idea. Uh, exactly, food, food. Mm -hmm. Yes, fruit, 
if if a type of food delicious do you like which of these do you like do you like bananas grapes or apples okay what do you like orange oranges okay yes oranges, oranges. Mm -hmm. what else and grapes grapes what color i like the grapes you like green or you uh, like it's a color green green a uh, purple and purple okay yes i like them too okay the purples or the green okay now the purpose is to discuss types of food you like do you like vegetables Yes, yeah. I am. So, yes. Yes. What's your favorite vegetable? Uh, my favorite um, uh, vegetables is a uh, carrot. Carrot. Okay. Excellent. It's delicious. Yes. Rolando, what's your favorite? Potatoes? Uh, potatoes. Había apagado el micrófono. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Excellent. Potatoes. Yeah. How do you like them? Fried? Uh, fried, fried potatoes? French fries? Okay. Yeah, delicious. Fries. <laughs> fries, definitely, yes. Okay. Excellent. What about this? Do you like meat? Yes. Yes, I like. You like? Yes, I like. Okay. Do you like? Yes, I like. Yes, yes I like. Yes, you like it. Yes, I like. Very good. Yes, I like meat. You like meat. Very good. Volunteers to ask the questions to other people. The first. First question. Evelyn, would you, uh, would you like to ask this question? Evelyn Ramos? Yes. Thanks. Uh, like. Select the person and ask the question. Okay. I see Nuria's hand. And Roland, Rolando Alexander's hand. I'm going to call him Alex. Like he asked me. Rolando, huh? Rolando Alexander. What okay. kind of food do you like? Repeat, please. What kind of food do you like? I like food. Uh, mm. Watermelon. Oh, you like watermelon. Okay, it's good. Very good. What kind of food do you like? Now, Rolando, please ask the question to another person, maybe to Nuria. Yeah. Nuria, what kind of food do you like? Uh, vegetable. Mm -hmm. I like fried potato. French fries. French fries. Where from? From Wendy's? From Pollo Campero? <laughs> from Central Park in Santa Ana. Ah, excellent. I'm from Santa Ana. You're from Santa Ana. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Nuria. Thank you very much. Nuria, would you please ask Evelyn? Okay. Any question? Any question. You choose. Do you like food? Yes, I like. Yes, I do. It's my favorite food. Mm -hmm. you, oh, okay. Food is your favorite food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why not? It's delicious. Okay. Evelyn, please ask Wendy. Wendy Ayala. Okay. Okay. Wendy. Do you like vegetable? 
Yes, I like. My vegetable like is broccoli. Okay. Good. Okay. Three. Yeah, it's delicious. Broccoli is very good, very delicious. Okay. Thank you. Wendy, would you please ask? Let me see who else is around. Jessica Roxana Contreras. Jessica, do you like meat? Yes, I like. Okay, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Okay, do you like? Yes, I do. I like, um, for example, you say, do you like vegetables? Yes, I do. I like uh, carrots. Do you like fruit? Yes, I do. I like uh, watermelon. Do you like meat? Yes, I do. I like chicken. The ch chicken is not meat, teacher. It's a different thing. <laughs> you may say, well, it's another type. All right. Excellent. Continue. Uh, so, Jessica, would you please ask Yolanda the same question? Yolanda, what kind of food do you like? I like pasta. Pasta, yeah. It's delicious. Pasta is very delicious. Okay. Can you ask Xiomara? Xiomara, uh, do you like fruit? Yes. Yes, I like. Okay, excellent. Can you ask Mar Marlon Don Fuente? Marlon, do you like vegetable? Vegetable? Yes, like, I like to. Okay, yes, you do. Very good. Marlon, can you ask Rolando Guzman, please? Uh, Rolando, what kind of food do you like? What? Uh, I, I, I really like Mexican food. Mexican food. Yeah, it's good. Mexican food. Do you like it hot? Hot food? Uh, not, not hot. Not hot. Okay. Yeah, because not it really hot. burns. Okay. Rolando, please ask Sara. Yes. Sarah Nicole. I mean, uh, yes, me tell too. me, Sara, uh, do you like fruit? Yes, I do. I like apples. Apples. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now choose another person. So you might ask, I mean, ask another person. Okay, Jennifer, do you like vegetables? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on because time is moving. Okay, we're going to be working on simple present with irregular verbs. Uh, when it says irregular verbs, it's funny to think about regular verbs when they are not in the past tense. Why? In the past tense is when they make difference. But over here, we're, the, we're talking about how they change. I go, I go, doesn't go. Maybe you remember that we check this. Or he does. Or I have and he has, okay? So this is what we're going to be practicing right now. Okay. I would like volunteers, one volunteer to do number one. How do we complete it? Ruth, okay. Go to the word of Sundays. 
Oh, thank you, Marion. Okay. Let's see, we have. Okay. Some help appeared. Okay, very good. So, Marlon said, I go to work on Sundays. Okay. Or no, you say I don't go to work on Sundays, right? Okay. Because it says complete with do, go, have, or their negative forms. Okay, excellent. Evelyn Ramos, would you please do number two? Okay. You... You do? Excellent. You do your homework on time. Okay. You do your homework on time. Excellent. Very good. Now, number three, Norma Chavez. Okay. Uh, number three. Uh, we don't have a lot of, no, we have a lot of doubt and a question. Okay, we have a lot of doubts and questions. Excellent. We have a lot of doubts and uh, questions. What about number four? Uh, Marielos Perez? Teacher, excuse me. Yes, please. Okay. They don't. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the problem, Rolando? Eh, I mean, Alex. Con algunos, con algunos este, están y hay no okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Um, si usted tiene su micrófono encendido y, y no está participando, Podría, por favor, cerrarlo para que no hayan eh, disturbs. Okay, continue, my dear Nitos. Thank you very much. Four, thank you. Thank you, Rolando. Okay, no, Alex, right? Thank you, Alex. So we were with, yes, Marielos, right? Okay, Marielos. They don't go to the park. Ajá, uh -huh, they don't go to At the park. At night, it's scared. They're scared, uh -huh, exactly. Thank you. They don't go to the park at night. They are scared. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Now, number five, Marvin, Marvin Alberto Calderón. Yes. Yes, please. We have business with other countries. Okay, excellent. We have business with other countries. We have Marlon Napoleon. You have a beautiful house. Oh, you have a beautiful house. Thank you very much. Okay, so now this is with I, you, he, etc. Now we use the other one. Complete using does, goes, has, or their negative forms. Okay, let's see, uh, Evelyn Ramos. Okay. Betty no has a new bicycle. Okay, Bas Betty has Betty has, right? Has. Has a new bicycle. Betty has a new bicycle. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. How about number two, Alex? Rolando Alexander, right? So number two. John does 
uh, to school early in the morning. Okay, exactly. Jan goes to school early in the morning. Excellent, very good, thank you. Number three. You're welcome. You're welcome, yes, thanks. Okay, we have uh, another volunteer, Mirna Mercedes, and then Mirna Guadalupe, okay? Number three, Mirna Mercedes. Mm, will. Will has an. Yes, it's a possibility. Has has an excellent job, but it's with the kids. What's preferable? What's preferable in that case? Will has an excellent job with the kids. Mm -hmm. Imagine that we say, Will does. Will does an excellent job with the kids. You do a job. Okay, so here you say he will does an excellent job with the kids. Excellent, but has is very good too. Number four. Okay, Mirna. Sony, mm -hmm. Sony hasn't any money now. He will tomorrow. Okay, excellent. What's another way of saying hasn't? What's your auxiliary for the simple present? And in negative? Doesn't have, doesn't have. Doesn't have, right? So, Sunny. Doesn't have. Okay, just got on top of the other. Okay, Sunny doesn't have any money now. He will tomorrow, but not now. Okay, number five. Let me see for number five. Uh, Nuria, and then Nicole uh, for number six. Everybody has question they want to you to answer. No. Yes, everybody has questions they want you to answer. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you very much. And then Nicole, six. Betsy has I have a, a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, Betsy has a, bo a brother and a sister. Brother and sister, yes. Uh, somebody has a question? Uh, it, it's a number five. Yes. Is, it, it's possible to uh, say everybody uh, does, does, does send question or does, the auxiliary does? Mm -hmm. It's possible? Yes, okay, only that for the negative, for the negative, for everybody, normally people say, not everybody, not everybody has questions they want you to answer, okay? That can be one, not everybody, means only a few people, not everybody. Another could be, instead of using everybody, nobody. Nobody has questions they want you to answer. Nobody, right? Okay. Okay, and thank you. So that everybody is not like that in that case. Nobody has questions they want you to answer, or everybody has questions they want you to answer. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Teacher. You're welcome, my friend. No problem. Okay, my pleasure. Okay, so this is exercise one with simple present with irregular verbs. Okay, irregular means the conjugation in the simple present. He has, I have, but he has, she has, or in the negative, I don't have, he doesn't have, okay? Now the next one, okay? A simple present with yes, no questions. Uh, the idea here is, do I have any doubts? Do you have a job? Do we have uh, questions? Do they have any money, okay? Does he go to school? Does she go to work early? Does it go fast? Does the car go fast? Does the bus go fast? Do you work nearby? Do you have a big family? 
Do you study the lesson every day? Do you read good books? Does your sister go to school with you? Does your father have a job now? Does your brother read the newspaper? Does he watch TV in the evening? Does she live in San Salvador? Okay, normally the answers that we use are short. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you have any doubts? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you like pupusas? Ooh, yes, I do. Okay. Do you like uh, fish? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Does he like pupusas? Yes, he does. Does he like vegetables? No, he doesn't. Okay. So normally in this way. But if you want to ask, answer full questions, I mean, full answers, you say like this. Yes, he uh, has doubts. Sorry, doubts. Okay. Does he have uh, doubts? Yes, he has doubts. Okay, so that could be the complete form. But normally we say, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Not to repeat this part. The common form, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, let's, let's check some of the questions that we will make. Example, you live around here. So all we need is do. Do you live around here? Yes, I do. Okay, or you may say, no, I don't. You choose. She studied at the university. Okay, we, don't, we cannot use do. So what do we use? Does she study at the university? Does she study at the university? No, she doesn't. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now we have the questions. Uh, who would like to make number one? One volunteer for number one? See? Do you like cake? Okay. What do you think is my answer? Do you like cake? Predict my answer. Yes. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of okay. course. Of course, of course. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, what about your answer? Do you like cake? Do you like cake? Rolando says, of course, teacher, I do. Of course. Okay. Uh, Paola, Paola Yesenia Rodriguez, what's your answer? Do you like it? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Of course, right? Of course you do. In Marvin Alberto Calderon, do you like cake? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, you do, right? Of course. What's your flavor? Favorite flavor? Chocolate? Yeah. Pistachio? <laughs> no, teacher. Really? Okay. So, pe that is pecan, right? Pecan. Pecan pie? Okay. It's good. So, Nicole, uh, second question, please. Okay. Uh, does she live in London? Mm -hmm. Does she live in London? Let us invent one answer. What do you think? Yes, she does. Okay. Yes. The first one we write, yes, I do. Okay, and period, right? And in the other one, let's make it smaller. Okay, slightly smaller. Okay, maybe like this size will do. Okay, does she live in London? And we say, yes. She does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Uh, does Xiomara Alejandra live in Santa Ana? No, I don't. I live in San Marcos. So we say, no, she doesn't. She lives in San Marcos. Okay, let's see. Now, 
Xiomara, would you please ask question number three? They are hate study. Uh -huh. I think. What do we need at the beginning? Um, Look at the example. Do. do. Mm -hmm. So, how do you make? Um, do. Do they hate the study? Study? It, Yes, do they hate studying? We say, no, they don't. No, they don't. they don't. I hope not, okay? No, they don't. Do they hate studying? No, they don't. Okay, question number four. One boy, one boy volunteer. You say, teacher, there are no boys in this class. There are only men. Ah, oh, okay. One man. <laughs> okay. Do you do you drink tea every morning? Oh, do you drink tea every morning? Okay. What do you think the answer could yes, be? I yes, I do. Right. Yes. Yes, yes. yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That could be the. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, excellent. What about number four? Okay, so it would be, do you, right? Do you drink tea every morning? Yes, I do. Number five. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Yes. Do you smoke? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. Why not? Okay, number six. Sandra Carolina Fuentes, number six, please. Do, do he play tennis on Saturdays? Almost, only the beginning. What do you think is he or she? What do we use? Instead of do, what do we say? Sorry, no, no, no comprendo. Okay, change do. What do we use in the questions for, for he, she, you use? Does. Does. With does? Does he. Uh -huh. does. does he play tennis on Saturdays? Excellent. Does he play tennis on Saturdays? Okay, what could be the answer? Yes, I do. Okay, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, Sulma, what about number six? Number seven, sorry. What about number seven? Sulma Vasquez, number seven. Number seven. Seven, yes, my friend. Uh, he he has played tennis on Saturday. Okay, almost. What's the first word? If it's he, what do you use? The exactly correct. So. Does he, he no, but, does he? But this is seven. seven. Seven is you. So what do we use? Do. Uh -huh. Con can you continue the question? Do. Does he play tennis on Saturday? Okay, excellent. That is six. Can you do seven? Do you go shopping at the weekend? Excellent. Very good. That, do you go shopping? Do you go shopping at the weekend? Okay, excellent. Very good. Another way in the United States is more common on the weekend rather than at the weekend. British use at the weekend, right? Number eight. Volunteer for eight. 
Do you drink alcohol? Do you drink alcohol? What's the answer? No, I don't. No, no I, don't. I don't. No, I don't. Okay, we, oh, use, yes, I do. we use alcohol in the hands, right? For COVID, but it's not, okay. not necessary. <laughs> it's not effective anymore. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, that's another answer. Yes, I do. Okay, number nine. Volunteer for nine. Does she work in the office? Excellent. Does she work in an office? What could be the answer? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, number 10. Volunteer for 10. Do they study in French? Do they study French? Perfect. Do they study French? What could be the answer? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, I do. Yes, they do. They are. Yes, they do. Excuse Excellent. me. Yes, they do. Very good. Yes, they do. All right. Number 11. Raul Quintani, would you like to do? <clears throat> Uh, repeat, please. Can you ask question 11? No, I don't. This one? Uh huh. Can you make yeah. the question? <laughs> First word is what? Do you meet oh. your friend Friday? Uh huh. Okay. Do you meet your friends on Fridays? What is the, the possible answer? No, I don't. No, I don't. COVID teacher, COVID. No, I don't. Imagine. Okay. Or just. Ah, okay. That can be another thing. So number 12, what's the question number 12? One volunteer, Sandra R. Um, do you read? Do you read a lot? Do you read a lot? What's the? Do you read a lot? No, I don't. 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 Okay. What about Jennifer Patricia, number thirteen? Do do they like pizza? Do they like Pizza? Okay. Answer. Do they like pizza? What do you think is a possible answer? Do they like pizza? Yes, Nicole? Yeah, yes. Uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Perfect. Yes, they do. Okay, 15. Who wants to do 15? Do we arrive at 9 p.m.? Do we arrive at 9 p.m.? Possible answer? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. 16. Uh huh. Someone for 16? Does it snow here in winter? Okay. Does it snow here in winter? And what's the answer in our country? No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, 17, very good, 17. What about 17? Jacqueline goes. Does Lucy study history? Oh, perfect, go ahead. Does Lucy study history? What's the possible answer? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, she does. No, I don't. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. I haven't seen Don Alberto Tito, right? Tito Alberto. Today is not here in class, maybe. Okay. Let me see. Uh, number 18 is killing. Okay. No, Jacqueline. Okay, somebody else. 
One volunteer. 18, 18. Yes, 18. Do I work as a teacher? Do okay. I work as a teacher? Perfect. Do I work as a teacher? And the answer could be? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, yes you do. Yes, you do. What about Marielo Perez? Marielo Perez? Question 19. Yes. Does he eat, does he eat rice often? Excellent. Very good. Does he eat rice often? And we say, no, he's not a Chinese, right? Ah, no, he's not a Chinese. Yes. What can be the answer? What's a possible answer? Yes, does he? Yes, he does, or no? Yes, he does. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, very good. Evelyn Ramos, 20, please. Do you like coffee? Uh -huh. Do you like coffee? Evelyn Ramos, that is your voice. Okay. Let's see, What's, what can be the answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, okay. All right, excellent, very good. So, okay, continue my dear Nietos. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Because we say, you, do you, he, does he, she, does she, they, do they. It does it. I do I. Okay, so that will be the, for the question. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Conversation. I get up at noon. What time do you get up? Somebody says, teacher, I get up early. Nuria, what time do you get up? Every day I get up at Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Wow. Wow. How nice. Okay. Nine o'clock. And you, Evelyn Ramos, what time do you get up? Mm -hmm. Evelyn Ramos, you can activate the microphone. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I get up at um, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Someone at your back said at 7 a.m. <laughs> no, right? At 5 a.m. Right. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Marlon Napoleon, what time do you get up? I don't understand. Okay. What time? Do you get up? Okay. What time do you abandon the bed? What time do you leave the bed? Uh, at 10. 10 a.m. 10, 10, 10 no. a.m. Wow. Okay. Excellent. 10 a.m. in the morning. Also oh, 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 in the morning. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Listen to the conversation. Uh, what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up at noon. Okay. On Sundays is valid, right? It says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at, the re at, the, at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., at 1 p.m., at 2 p.m., at 3 p.m., at 6 p.m. breakfast. <laughs> okay. What time is breakfast? In the morning. In the morning. 
Yeah, breakfast in the morning. But here it says they serve breakfast all day. Okay. They go to Denny's restaurant. Denny's restaurant. <laughs> in Denny's restaurant, they serve uh, breakfast all day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Let's see. Thank you very much. Who wants to be Jack? One volunteer for Jack? One boy to be Jack. Okay, I see two hands. So, boys. Okay, Rolando. Rolando Guzman, okay, is Jack. And one lady for Amy, Nuria Danixa Sandoval. Okay, excellent. Let's begin. Uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Fantastic, excellent, very good. Now, other two volunteers, one for Jack and one for Amy. Hi, Amy. You are Amy, excellent, thank yeah. you. Jack, one boy. Yeah. Okay, thank you, begin please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I live late on weekends. What time do you do you get? Uh, did yeah. you get up on the Sundays? At ten o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at the noon. Get up at noon. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast uh, every day. Then let's meet in the restaurant at one o'clock. They sell breakfast all day. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, yes, Jacqueline Gonzalez is Amy. And uh, Jack, because there are not many boys, we're going to have Ruth Karina Peña being Jack. Okay. Please begin. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Mm -hmm. Then let's meet at the restaurant at one o'clock. Day service breakfast all day. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Now from here we're going to get to what's your schedule? What's your schedule like? So let's get to the other exercise. Let's see. I want you to look at the schedules. We have Kevin, Peter, Susan, Cindy, and David. And of course, uh, there is another lady that I cannot see, but Celine, right? Okay, uh, we're going to ask questions. The, the activities are at the right, okay? Say like this. Get up. What time does Kevin get up? He gets up at 8.15. It's up at 8.15, at 8.15, okay. You can say a quarter past eight, quarter o'clock. Uh -huh, quarter past eight, right? And we normally use yeah. here in nine o'clock, two o'clock because zero, zero, right? Nine o'clock, two o'clock, okay. Let's see, what time does Susan, Listen to music. 
when you say listen to music, Susan, at 10 after six or at 6.10. We're going to practice it like this for you not to have complications. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to say it like this for the sake of this. Let me see. I'll move this if I can, because I have this blocking for the moment. Let me see. Oops. Uh oh, blocking, blocking, blocking. Let's go back to the to this. Okay. My bar look. Okay, now yes, maybe I can move this a little bit. Okay. Now, comment. Sometimes this thing uh, crashes. Well, not exactly crashes, but blocks important things. Okay, here we go. Now, yes, okay. Let's see. Uh, first, what's the question? What time do you get up? Okay, what time do you, but in this case, Kevin does. What time does Kevin get up? What time does Cindy get up? Read a book. What time does David read a book? Okay, we're going to read the answers like 10, 15, linearly, okay? When I say linearly, I'm talking about in this line, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move it to the, to the bottom, okay? So it doesn't bother me, okay? to read it in this direction, okay? In this direction. That is uh, easy. Why easy? Because only say 10, 15, 7, 25, 9, 30, 9, 0, 5, 8, 15, 8, 40, in third, okay, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to continue. Volunteers, volunteers to ask the question. Okay, you can ask a volunteer to make these questions. You choose Kevin, Susan, the one that you want in one activity. What time does, okay. Uh, I have Norma Chavez, please ask Rolando Guzman. Okay. What time? Uh, what, what time uh, Cindy does? Does go to the bed. What time does Cindy go to bed? Go to bed, yeah. Yes. What time does Cindy go, go to bed? What time does Cindy go to bed? I'm going to put the beginning of the question here because we can get confused, okay? Uh, Cindy go to bed at... 10, 10, 10 p.m. 10, 10 o'clock. You, if you say 10, 10, it's not necessary o'clock. Only 10, 10. 10, 10. Oh, yes, 10, 10. You can say 10, 10 in the morning or 10, 10 in the say like, What time does person 
and then activity. Okay. So we have two things, right? The person and the activity. What time does Peter listen to music? What time does Peter listen to music? Peter and listen to music at 4.45. He listens to music at 4.45. 45. Yes, excellent. Very good. Now, uh, Marielos, would you please ask Ruth Karina? What time does, does David listen to music? Okay. He listens. Don't be afraid, you can do it. He listens. Ay, no me salí, creo. Continue, continue. Sí, ay, ya volví. Perdón. Um, sería la respuesta. David, listen to music, ¿verdad? Yes. Sería. David. David does. This Listen to music eight eighteen eighteen no recuerdo cómo se dice quién se fifteen okay eighteen is military hour okay so it's six fifteen uh -huh. six fifteen p.m. okay thank you thank you very much now Marlon Napoleon. Can you please ask Stephanie Melendez? Uh, what time does Peter have to lunch? Excellent. What time does Peter have lunch? Peter has lunch at... Uh, 14, 14, uh, 10 past 14. No. Oh, 14 is 2 p.m. So at 2 p.m., 2.10. Okay, excellent. Excuse oh, me. Don't worry, it's okay. No problem. You are with your baby. That's good, okay? Our children are important too. Yes, they're important. Okay, Mirna Mercedes Herrera, would you please ask Sandra Carolina Fuentes? Excuse me, teacher. Can you please ask Sandra Carolina Fuentes? Make the question, you choose the information. Uh -huh. Kevin, what time does mm -hmm. La pregunta sería, what time do you do What time? Headliner. What time does? Headliner. Okay, what time does? Uh -huh, have dinner, right? Have dinner. What time does Susan have dinner? What time does Susan have dinner? Uh huh. Okay, and the answer will be Susan and have dinner. So at 8.15, 8.15, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, the next one, Ruth Karina. Would you please ask Marlon? What 
What time does Peter have a breakfast? Uh, Peter have a breakfast at seven fifty. At seven fifty, excellent. Thank you, Marlon. Very good. That's great. Okay. Let's see. Raúl Quintanilla. Can you ask Marvin Calderón? No escucho. Raúl Quintanilla. No, Marvin is speaking, ¿verdad? Right? No lo escucho ahí entre. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Maybe the microphone, Raúl Quintanilla's microphone is. No, it's the microphone is on. Can you please put your microphone near your mouth? Ok. All right, but don't give up, no se rinda, you can do it, okay. All right, then when you are ready, make the question, please. Okay, uh, Marvin, can you ask Wendy Ayala, please? Yes. Thanks. What I do is Kevin, what TV? Okay. What time does Kevin watch TV? Kevin watch TV. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, uh, repeat, please. Mm -hmm. What time does Kevin watch TV? Kevin and watch TV. What time does Kevin watch TV? Kevin watch TV at twenty 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 three. Okay. Team. I'm going to change these schedules. They are confusing for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Don't Perdón, es que casi no escucho. Hay problemas de de red. Uh, okay, don't worry, it's okay. Um, it's military time, so it's confusing. Okay, but that's okay. Yes, this is the one. Okay, he watches TV at 8.30. He watches TV at 8.30. All right, excellent, very good. Now, Mirna Karina Peña, would you please ask Paula Yesenia Rodriguez? Okay, Ruth Karina, no. Okay, then let's continue. Paula Yesenia Rodriguez, would you please ask Mirna, Mirna Mercedes Herrera? Okay. What time does have a dinner, Kevin? What time? What time does Kevin have dinner? Kevin have a dinner. Kevin have a dinner at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay. Kevin has dinner at, oh, at eight o'clock, 8 p.m. Okay, excellent. Very good, that's okay. Now the last question, because I see that you are very tired. Uh, Mirna Guadalupe, are you still with us? Okay. 
Okay, teacher. What time does Susan go to school? Okay, what time does Susan go to school? Maybe Silvia Escobar would like to answer. Hey, you. Me podía repetir la pregunta, perdón. Okay, can you please repeat? Hey, what time does Susan go to the school? Susan go to school at nine. Let me see. Nine or five. Oh, nine. Nine. Or five. Five. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Nine thirty. Oh, okay. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Yes. Very, very nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending the class tonight. We stop here. We continue tomorrow. Okay. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Sleep. Well, thanks, teacher. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, my friend. Good night. Me pasan copia más tarde. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye. Take care. <laughs>